Welcome to Army TV, your weekly tour of the Jamaica Defense Force, where we share with you the news, events, and happenings inside the JDF, or as we soldiers like to call it, Army Life. Now, points to note, I am Warrant Officer Class 2, Anthony Lysight, and this is Army TV. Jamaica Defense Force serves a number of vital functions to the country. We defend Jamaica against internal and external security threats while securing our waters, fisheries and maritime domain. We provide search and rescue and casualty evacuation services as well as counter-terrorism capabilities. In times of natural disasters, we are an integral part of any relief, recovery and reconstruction effort and the wide range of support we offer demonstrates our experience and our expertise. Today we will look at the important roles of the JDF Coast Guard. For the men and women of the JDF Coast Guard, their job is often a thankless one. Whilst the rest of the force operates on land for all to see, the hard work of the seafaring men and women takes place miles and miles away on the high seas. But just as any fisherman who has to contend with the dangers of the wide open waters, and he will tell you that it is a JDF Coast Guard that is often the difference between life and death. Today we will look at the important roles of the JDF Coast Guard, as well as the other important tasks that the unit has to perform, such as maritime law enforcement, environmental protection, and the safeguarding of our fisheries and maritime domain. Let's go. I am Commander David Chinfong the commanding officer of the Jamaica Defense Force Coast Guard. As the commanding officer of the Jamaica Defense Force Coast Guard, my job essentially entails seeing to the efficient execution of our missions, of our mandate, and the directives of the Chief of Defense Staff of the Jamaica Defense Force. The roles of the JDF Coast Guard are fourfold. Our first mission is maritime law enforcement and maritime law enforcement accounts for 90% of our underway time. This role or mission involves dealing with illicit activity, dealing with those who seek to engage in illegal activities on the high seas, the narco traffickers or the drug smugglers, as well as those who seek to traffic humans as well as traffic arms and ammunition. Our second mission is maritime safety. Maritime safety involves search and rescue upon the high seas. Jamaica has a very large search and rescue area that we're responsible for, which extends as far as the Grand Cayman, several miles west of Jamaica towards Central America, and over 200 miles south of Jamaica. We have a lot of fishermen who fish on the Pedro Banks, and the various banks around Jamaica and usually find that in a period of 12 months there are quite a number of them who get lost at sea and the JDF Coast Guard is charged with finding those fishermen up on the high seas. There are also the pleasure boaters or those who operate pleasure craft. They too, even though they operate closer inshore to mainland Jamaica, they too at times get into difficulties and we also have to see about their rescue. Our third mission is defense readiness and naval duties. We have to maintain our proficiency to support our fellow members in the, West of the, in the rest of the wider force. 
which are of course the infantier and the members of the air wing. We always carry out joint training and exercises with them as well as joint training with visiting foreign warships. Our last mission is nation building, very wide in its scope but it includes any other role that we have to perform under the Defence Act or any other mission that the Chief of Defence Staff directs us to perform. One of those missions of, that falls under Defence Readiness, for example, includes stepping in when those workers from the essential services, such as the nurses, the firemen, the port workers, when they go on strike, the JDF, and by extension the JDF Coast Guard, is called out to take up those, those particular roles um, that have to be filled in such a strike. For example, when the port workers go on strike, it means therefore that the container vessels that call on the port of Jamaica can't be offloaded and they have to essentially sit in harbor before they can move on and for them time is money. When this happens, the JDF Coast Guard is asked to go out there to man the cranes, to man the ports and to get the ships quickly turned around out of the harbor and to their next port of call. Disaster relief and environmental protection are also roles that we perform. We are able to assist disaster stricken areas such as Haiti by the use of our county class vessels. We have in the past dispatched a vessel to Haiti and to the Eastern Caribbean to deliver relief supplies as well as an engineering team to help and rebuild the nation after a disastrous incident such as an earthquake or a hurricane. The work can be a very dangerous one. In enforcing Jamaica's maritime laws, which deals with drug trafficking as well as fisheries protection, you oftentimes come upon persons who, again, are engaged in illegal activities, wherein the movement of drugs, the poaching of fish, involves large amounts of money, large amounts of cash. And these persons will go to or do anything to defend the particular job that they're doing. That in itself is fraught with danger. Again, we're always looking out for drug traffickers. We've engaged in high-speed chases on boats and on helicopters against these traffickers. And again, what they're trafficking is worth a whole lot of money and they will do anything to defend that. So the training that you're exposed to, the, the processes and the procedures that you're exposed to is sufficient enough for you to be able to defend yourself. But all in all, it's a very risky and dangerous job. The life of a sailor is a very exciting one. No two days are the same. As mentioned before, under the four main roles that we have, main roles and missions that we have, any day you can get caught up in executing one of those missions. We have radio operators, we have divers, we have engineers, we have technicians, we have seamen, we have navigators. A wide range of career opportunities exist within the JDF Coast Guard. And we're always looking for good people. We're looking for persons who love the sea, who have sea experience, or would not mind a career in going on the high seas. Your experience and your job takes you far afield from Jamaica. Jamaica has a very wide maritime space, 25 times size the size of Jamaica, and being exposed to the Coast Guard will take you far beyond the shores of Jamaica into international waters as well. So we're looking for somebody who is bright between the ages of 18 to 23, who has an engineering background, who has a passion for the sea, who has a love for boats, who just wants to have a very exciting life. The JDF Coast Guard is for you.